Hello everybody, I'm Chris Cummings, the CEO of Petro Technologies. We provide rock solid IT every day. And today I'm gonna to talk to you about the mobile device updates. And when you get that little pesky update inside of your general settings tab and it says, hey, you got an update to install, how fast are you actually going to be clicking on that? Well, I'm gonna help you make an assessment on when a good time is to click on that little update. And some of them comes into whether or not you're using your phone in business. And if you're using your cell phone in business and it's the thing that you're using every day, then you may want to consider those business apps that you have on your phone. And sometimes the version of Outlook or the version of LinkedIn or whatever may not be quite totally ready for that new version yet. So the other part that you might want to watch out for is some of those other things that you use for record keeping. And some of those has to do with trip logging and dealing with some of your notes like an Evernote or something like that. Then those might not be ready for the new update either. So when is the right time? Well, that's always a big variable between here and there. And you can pick any time in between. But generally speaking, you want to wait until your friend's done it, right? And then get on to social media see who is complaining about those little pesky little features and then determine when that has settled down and you can actually then take a pretty good gander on when it's going to be time to do your update. So another thing that I would throw in there is when the update comes out with those dot dot releases that are like 13.1.1 and it goes to 13.1.2 and it's doing that week after week that's another time to kind of hold off on that button and uh, wait a little while because then that means that somebody's out there still trying to refine those little bugs that came out in the 1.1 and then by the time that you checked around on social media and checked out all of those apps are working for you then that's probably when you can get your comfort level up enough to be able to hit that update also, most of you probably figured this out by now, but you gotta have it plugged into some power. Otherwise, if it gets below that 50% mark, it's not gonna like doing that. And you wanna be able to make sure it runs all the way through without any problems and having it powered up is gonna ensure that. So what is the exception? That would be me. I tend to go out there and go on the front side, but you know, for you, it might be the other direction and feel free to wait as long as you'd like because there's nothing that says you have to do it today. However, there is something that says you can't wait until next year either. So I really want to hear from you. If you have any comments about this video, be sure to leave a comment down there and maybe I can address one of the things that you bring up in a future video. Thank you.